Scritty here, contentmachine3.com. I'll give myself a couple of minutes to tell you as much as I can about Content Machine. It's an application I use every day. If I'm not actually creating content using it or mixing content using it, I'm certainly running the campaigns. It's had some new features added very recently that allows you to save to the cloud so you can have applications such as Ultimate Demon, SE Nuke, RankWiz or whatever that can pull the campaigns directly from the cloud without it needing to be installed on the same uh, server or VPS or your own home, home computer. Very, very powerful. Moving on from there, let's have a look at some Content Machine campaigns. Got one here. Just open one up at random. Okay, so the way Content Machine works, first of all, you decide where you want to scrape your content from. It has a lot of sources built in. For anything but the smallest of niches, it will scrape from around 1,000 different sources and will have several articles from each source sometimes. It's an enormous number of, of uh, amount of content that you will get in. You can set the scraper settings. This allows you to do things like uh, t time delays and things like that if you're not using proxies because you don't, you don't need to use proxies, but it also allows you to add proxies. Campaign settings. Uh, whether you want to use or avoid adult content, paragraph, sentence, and bookmark variations. Bookmarks are separate. You can create about me, spin stop words, and provide output either in plain text or HTML. Some applications prefer HTML. Uh, whether you want the quant content quality to be tier 1 or greater, which does a sort of a macro setting for the spinner that you're going to use, uh, as, as for how readable it is. It will spin using uh, the best spinner, um, Word AI, Spin Chimp, Spinner Chief, and others. Um, I don't normally use Word AI Touring, I, but I do use Word AI. It has two separate databases, uh, so you can spin one and can leave the other unspun, and so you can do a comparison. You can add images and videos. Um, you can put an image or video random in each article, or use the keywords you use to grab them. You can resize the videos, you can d decide on the alignment, you can decide which paragraph the video comes after. Likewise with the video, the alignment, how wide you want, and what paragraph you want it to come after. All very powerful stuff which allows you, and you can mix all that up as well, which allows you to make very good looking um, profiles for your links and content. You can do um, article tweaks, so you want to do word spinning, a paragraph count, whether you want to use blank line spacing or the BR uh, tag, uh, split tags into single words, a number of tags you want, the maximum characters, where to put the about me snippets, it's all included in there. Bookmarks have similar level of control as well. You don't need to do all this, but you can if you want to. There is also a quick campaign button you can press and it will just go off and do it. Then whether you want to embed your own contextual links, if you're using something like Ultimate Demon or SC Nuke or something, then that will embed the links for you if you want. You probably don't want to duplicate. Whether you want article body links and resource box links, box links, whether you want to activation, activate image links, which puts obviously, as it says, puts the link in the image and the output format, whether you want HTML, BB code, uh, bulletin board code, or wiki format, where you're going to use it. You can then build content, build and content, Build and export, build and post. Build and post is something like RankWiz. It will go straight away and post your RankWiz campaign. Or you can now send to the cloud. Very, very handy. Uh, it will go out to the cloud. It's free hosting, which means you don't need content machines stored on the app same uh, server or VPS or even your home computer that you're running Ultimate Demon or SE Newcom because it's saved to the cloud and with an API key it will pull that content down from the cloud. It means you don't have to use memory sticks or have in things installed on the same PC anymore. That's a brand new feature. You can then save it as a blueprint if you spent some time tweaking everything and getting everything exactly as you like. You can then save it as a blueprint and use it for other campaigns. You just change the keywords and it will uh, use all the other settings that you've got in there. Let's go back to the home panel. There's also a tools box here which allows you to create bookmarks separately, uh, just fetch articles, create about me separately, a word spinner and unspinner, which is very powerful, a bulk spinner, a publish file spinner, which just takes files on your computer and then publish them to things like RankWiz again, and then you go back to campaigns. So that's just touching, it's four minutes, and I haven't stopped talking, and I've just done a feature list, and I've only just done it inside four minutes. It's an incredibly powerful tool. It's updated all the time. Just about every week when I turn it on to create new campaigns, it's been updated. Um, so the cloud feature was just added um, in the middle of April 2014. Uh, it's free, obviously, to existing users. The subscription is a, is is decent value, under $30 a month, but buying it outright, if you get it within 24 hours of clicking on the link, you get it for a couple of hundred dollars, and you will get 
that's sort of seven months worth of um, subscription and you will get ample use out of it uh, it's updated all the time this is the third version of it it's a fantastic tool I can't recommend it enough Scritty at Content Machine 3 signing off Oh, oh, oh.